Next speaker is um, Maxim Baspelov, who will be talking about multi-lepton signatures of meson decays in model with light BSM particles. Uh, so um, I'm going to uh, speak about this uh, couple of papers and uh, some thoughts around uh, uh, K-on decays. Uh, uh, K-on decays is a very um, so mature topic in particle physics, and uh, recently it's been much uh, uh, the much new excitement has been injected into the field by uh, uh, um, first impressive results by an A62 experiment, and uh, anyone uh, interested in particle physics should uh, should pay attention to to, to this topic. So. Um, I'll be uh, speaking about some examples of uh, new particle physics models uh, that uh, are probed by K and decays, and I will concentrate on light new physics. So here's my uh, sort of a slide of uh, uh, lay of the land. Uh, so this is a Lagrangian of the stair model plus beyond stair model uh, particles. So here is the Lagrangian of the stair model. Then uh, if the new physics is say heavy, heavy compared to not even the K on scale, but let's say a weak scale, then, then you can integrate it out. You have a high dimensional operators that uh, you famously probe in the K on physics. Um, and um, there's, uh, um, of course, if there are light particles around, uh, would, uh, that would necessarily have to interact uh, rather through small couplings. Um, then uh, you would have to put them in explicitly into the game and uh, have uh, 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 some, uh, maybe some interactions between this uh, dark sector particles in the stair model fields. Plus, you can have uh, arbitrarily complex uh, interactions between the dark sector particles themselves. Uh, so, um, and as I said, the, the K and B mesons, uh, flavor physics provide information about both uh, heavy uh, and uh, light new physics. So the, the, this, all these portals being, uh, uh, of course, enumerated and studied extensively in the last uh, 15, 20 years. And uh, uh, one of the most common cases is the, the new vectors coupled to conserved currents and uh, as, as such as this uh, uh, new uh, uh, vector coupled to the uh, to the hypercharge uh, current uh, by kinetic mixing, or there is uh, uh, or, uh, or, and I should say in addition you can have uh, scalars uh, interacting with the Higgs bilinears and so on. Um, uh, now. Uh, uh, what uh, the, the this as I said, this is extensively studied. These are the constraints on the uh, kinetic mixing and uh, on the mixing of the light uh, scalar with the, with the Higgs. And one thing that you should notice is that uh, the scalar uh, uh, constraints are far more contributed to by the uh, flavor physics, by the K-on decays, by LHCb, and so on. Uh, there is, of course, a contribution to the uh, uh, dark photon constraints from the pi zeros that are produced through cans, but that's that's indirect. So, so here, most of the constraints come from the direct uh, flavor changing amplitudes into a new sector, uh, into a new particle. And you can ask the question why this is happens happening, and here is like. Um, S quark to D quark, or one one flavor of the down quark to another flavor of the down quark, uh, mediated by the top W loop, and uh, here is like a generic probe. It can be a dark dark uh, photon or a dark scalar, and so on. And then uh, there is a huge distinction between the conserved currents and uh, uh, non-conserved currents. So if it's a dark photon. Uh, then uh, the, uh, the, the, all the such amplitudes will be proportional. Uh, the, the, the vertex is conserved in some sense. And then uh, you, you get uh, G Fermi times uh, a characteristic Q squared that will be on the order of the meson mass, for example. 
But on the other hand, if you have a scalar current, you cannot have, a, um, well, you can associate with it uh, some sort of a, a, a scaling symmetry, but it's only approximately conserved. So, so in fact, you do have a sensitivity to say M top squared, and that's why uh, uh, you have a huge uh, disparity of these uh, two amplitudes and you have a much uh, stronger sensitivity through uh, flavor to uh, to to uh, to scalars. So here is the the model that Sasha has investigated, and we are going to take uh, S to be a uh, light particle, and uh, it mixes with the Higgs through the trilinear term. After the Higgs gets uh, gets a wave, uh, and uh, if you sort of bother to calculate uh, uh, a flavor amplitude, uh, it's done here. Um, the, the new scalar uh, couples to bilinears at, at one loop. And you, you can also notice that uh, uh, the absence of the any loop function that is a complicated function of M top uh, over MW. If you uh, exchange the scalar for the Stermoil Z boson, for example, you will have a, a, a long expression that, uh, that encodes uh, uh, in terms of M top over MW. And the, the reason of this is uh, uh, related to the scale anomaly we, we were talking about uh, earlier in the session. Uh, in particular, um, uh, the, the coupling uh, to the Higgs, uh, to the light Higgs, as we know, uh, can be uh, sort of phrased as the derivative of uh, over the, uh, the Higgs web, right? And the, the, uh, in, uh, if for the quark bilinear, it's, uh, it's uh, um, uh, a derivative of some function that depends of, uh, on M top over MW. But then, of course, you can cancel the, 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 the webs and you get the ratio of the color coupling to the gauge coupling, which you differentiate over V and you get zero, right? But in fact, there is a secret dependence on the ultraviolet cutoff uh, of, uh, and, uh, or, uh, uh, over here. And that's the differentiation of that thing that gives you a non-zero result. So in some sense, it's similar to Higgs to gamma gamma kind of uh, uh, in a limit of a light Higgs uh, uh, result. So um, uh, using this amplitude, you can calculate the canon decay to pi plus a scalar. And uh, do I, I've been doing this with the Mish evolution long, long time ago. And the, the constraints, uh, uh, the, this, this, this things results in the, in the new constraints on K to plus, uh, pi plus, uh, plus a new scalar and the scalar uh, if you take it in 100 G uh, uh, MeV range or so, it actually long lived and escapes the detector. So therefore it fits very nicely into uh, uh, constraints provided by an A62 uh, experiment that uh, uh, investigates uh, uh, K plus to pi plus new new bar decays. But of course, uh, since neutrinos are not detected, you, you also have sensitivity to any other new channel uh, with, with missing energy. Um, so another uh, uh, example uh, uh, that was, I, I wasn't uh, paying a, a full attention to that until a few years ago. Uh, another example uh, of interesting sort of uh, enhancement of the loops uh, are provided by uh, theories where you couple the new vector to uh, a portal that contains, for example, a baryonic current. Uh, this is the sum of the quarks here. Not B minus L, which is anomaly free, but the baryons themselves, which is anomalous, but it's known how to cancel the anomalies by uh, uh, Vector-like under the standard model and chiral under the new uh, gauge group fields, so-called anomalons that you can put uh, above the electric scale. Once you put them above the electric scale, the naive expectation is that uh, the flavor physics is not affected, uh, but it turns out to be not true. So uh, uh, it turns out that the two loop diagrams of that, of that form, where there is a, a, an electric triangles here sensitive to the uh, anomalon loops. Uh, uh, they provide a, a huge sensitivity to the, uh, to the, uh, to the vectors. Um, and um, you can, of course, uh, 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 sort of uh, equivalently phrase it as the sensitivity to longitudinal uh, uh, 
uh, axion, uh, sorry, longitudinal part of the gauge boson, which is uh, sort of uh, the goldstone eaten by, by X mu. And uh, the results are, this. that's, that's very nice, are, are really fixed by the anomaly uh, coefficient uh, of the baryonic current. And then uh, you can calculate uh, all this uh, 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 wonderful two loop diagrams. And uh, what you discover is that uh, because of this access to, to, the, to the heavy anomalon loops, the two loop diagram is actually larger than uh, 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 a naive one loop diagram by, by, by a fair bit of m top over mx squared. So this is an example of uh, another example on top of the scalar where, where the, the, uh, uh, the, the flavor physics at two loops actually provides a very strong constraints. And here is the, the, the results uh, that I got together with Drawer and Lassen some years ago, which is uh, being updated in 2019 to correct so for some arithmetic mistakes that we made and also to uh, update uh, the, the charm constraints where we rescale from the old studies of the uh, K to uh, pi scalar that were uh, sort of uh, um, uh, not done uh, quite quite properly. So that now now it, now it's uh, it's it's all in good order. And uh, in particular, uh, you can see that uh, at uh, 20 uh, uh, MeV, for example, you uh, up to 20 MeV, you have uh, a coverage of uh, of uh, almost all uh, couplings uh, down to 10 to minus four. Um, very well. Um, and here on the right is, is if you gauge uh, L the, uh, separately, uh, the, um, the L quantum number, you, ha you can have very similar uh, uh, sensitivity, but here it's even better because X decays invisibly to neutrinos. Um, so um, last year there was uh, some uh, interesting uh, stories related to the to the um, uh, events, the, the the experiment that looks at K long decays, and uh, it uh, has reported a number of uh, events that can be uh, associated with K long decaying to pi zero and nu nu bar. However, it's of course at the level much uh, exceeding this term model uh, predictions. And also uh, is seemingly in contradiction with uh, with the uh, uh, with the standard uh, with with the k k plus to pi plus new new bar. So there was uh, a, a theoretical activity on showing that if you include the light particles, you can uh, circumvent uh, the Grossman near bounds and so on. Um, and uh, we worked on the possibility of. Uh, 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 k, k long decaying to a pair of particles of, in the dark sector uh, that uh, then uh, say one of them decays to another and produces a pi zero. So it's in some sense, it's a semi-visible uh, cascade in the dark sector. And uh, using this, this uh, generic scheme and uh, fairly well understood uh, sort of mediation mechanisms uh, we were able to construct a number of models where you can have uh, interesting uh, probes of dark sector using the K long decays. Uh, so here is particular, uh, it's a model based on some uh, uh, Z prime coupled to axial vector current. And here on the vertical axis, I, I plot uh, uh, the effective uh, coupling as a, a in units of uh, G Fermi. So uh, if you have a Z prime, uh, light Z prime coupled uh, that, that, that way, um, uh, and the two, two new states, psi one and psi two, uh, you could um, exclude much of it using the, the beam dump, but then uh, a certain part of the area is excluded by Koto, and here at the boundary, you may want to explain some anomalous events. Um, here is another example of a dark sector model uh, where uh, the two scalars, uh, S1 and S2, coupled to, uh, to uh, uh, pseudo-scalar density of down quark and S quark. So this is, a, 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 from the low energy point of view, is a dimension five operator. This is a very, very minimal model. It's pictured over here. Then the K-long, uh, due to the normal weak amplitude, can go to pi, eta, eta prime, 
that decays into x2, x1, and x2 decays to x1 and phi zero. So it's very uh, economical model. And indeed, uh, Koto as well uh, uh, provides uh, uh, a fairly uh, strong sensitivity uh, uh, to that model, uh, uh, complementing the existing uh, uh, beam dump constraints. And um, now I'm jumping to the to the um, uh, new opportunities with uh, pair production of uh, exotic particles in county case, which which I worked on in collaboration with uh, Mateusz Hostert. And these are um, uh, basically uh, uh, the ideas. Well, what else can you do in the chaos sector to to uh, to start uh, to probe uh, to probe the dark sector? So that we're talking about light particles produced in the chaos decays. If you go to the extensive PDG web uh, page on the K plus and K long and K short decays, you'd see that many of the decay channels being investigated uh, uh, and these decay channels um, are motivated mostly by the standard model. But there are, however, uh, new decay channels, such as, for example, K plus to pi plus, plus four leptons that are not investigated at all because in the standard model, this is so much a suppressed uh, decay that you don't, don't expect it. However, if there are new light particles, you can produce a pair and that can decay to E plus, uh, each of them can decay uh, into E plus, minus pairs and that could, could be studied uh, uh, for, uh, with uh, uh, existing data sets, upcoming data sets. And um, uh, it would be nice to have, uh, to have this discussion early because uh, when we realize that this model is very constraining for what I'm going to say below uh, uh, and contacted the KTF collaboration is basically the answer is like there is no workforce, no funding for doing any analysis with the old data. So, so it's better to have the theoretical model ready before the data come in. Um, very well. Uh, so we have looked at the possibility of various uh, um, uh, decays in the dark sector, for example, uh, K can decay to pi uh, and the dark Higgs, that Higgs is the U1 dark. And the, the, the coupling here is exactly that, uh, that Higgs portal coupling that I have uh, discussed before. And then this dark Higgs, <clears throat> if it Higgs is the, uh, the uh, U1 dark, and its mass is heavier than the pair of the uh, dark photons, where, will almost immediately decay to a pair of dark photons, each of which will decay to E plus and minus. So this is a very, not, not a very complicated model and it's, uh, but it involves the mixing of the two portals, the, the dark Higgs portal and the, the, the kinetic mixing portal. And so here is our pr uh, sort of uh, a maximum rates that you can uh, obtain for, for, for this. Uh, and uh, you see by the branchings, uh, uh, that this is quite uh, quite quite an attainable goal compared to say uh, 10 minus uh, 10 branchings or, or so that NA62 can possibly uh, dig out. Um, and uh, well, uh, the, the the final uh, uh, things, uh, final examples that uh, that I wanted to to show you. Uh, I, I find it uh, extremely cute, and this is the models of the uh, uh, GV scale axions that can be probed in the meson decay. So there were uh, two papers by Neil Weiner and Daniela Alves, and by Daniela herself uh, last uh, last year, which basically tries to resurrect uh, uh, not the axion-like particles, but the true QCD axion at the coupling constant of one GV. So I guess their point is that it's not evidently dead uh, uh, model provided that the mixing between pi zero and A is below 10 minus three. And this may be just may be responsible for this uh, 17 uh, MeV anomaly in beryllium eight uh, excited uh, uh, states and helium four excited state decays. Um, so what's, uh, what's interesting about the QCD axioms is that the mass is linked to the to the coupling, and it turns out that uh, 
while the mixing of pi zero to a can be tuned to zero, you cannot uh, tune away a pair production of uh, uh, axions. Uh, uh, so their coupling to uh, between the two axions and two pi's is fixed, and the coupling between three axions and pi zero is fixed as well. And so you open up a possibility of uh, producing pairs of these axions in the canon decay, pairs of uh, 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 these axions in the pi minus captured by, by, by protons and uh, deuterium and so on, and also the pi zero to three A. So- um, Maxim, sorry, you have five minutes left. Yeah, yeah, I'm finishing up. Uh, so uh, you have uh, a Lagrangian basically uh, that is uh, prior, prior free once you fix the mass to uh, 17 MeV. Uh, so you have an interaction between two axions and two pions, uh, and, uh, uh, and that, that gives, a, gives a vertex uh, here. And uh, um, uh, so the, the, if the, the new particle, uh, let's say, let's speculate is 17 MeV, then the vertex is, uh, is small, but not that terribly small. It's not like a mixing angle of 10 minus three or 10 minus four we're, we're talking about. Uh, and the same thing goes about this uh, A cube coupling to pi zero. It's completely fixed wh uh, while we choose uh, Petri queen charges to scale as the down quark uh, to up quark mass ratios. And that, that kills the mixing with pi zero. And then uh, using this, uh, you can uh, predict uh, the rates in that model for k long to pi zero AA. Um, and that could have been, this is, uh, if this were real, there is a lot of these things in the k, uh, k tf data, but uh, there is uh, no one to look. Um, there is, uh, uh, K plus to pi plus and uh, two A's that decay to, to four leptons. And we hope that Evgeny and, uh, and his colleagues can, can look into that. And uh, the, there are other uh, interesting examples such as the K short decay to two A's that uh, decay to, uh, to four, four electrons. So K short to four electrons, that, that's an interesting decay channel that uh, possibly can be, again, if there is a workforce to look back at the, the, uh, the uh, uh, f uh, data from uh, uh, Frascati, what is it, Chloe, then <clears throat> what, uh, that it could be done probably. And uh, um, this is the, the signatures uh, here. Uh, for example, this, this is uh, a very sort of uh, nice signature because it gives uh, five charged particles in the K plus decay. And uh, the, the, the last bet I wanted to show is the, uh, that the pi zero to three A uh, to going to, to three pairs of E plus E minus, if this in this model with the QCD 17 MeV axion is predicted uh, with like say no uncertainty, at the level of 10 minus three, which is, uh, we, f we, we find this is uh, extremely <laughs> amusing because this would, if this were true, this would be uh, the third, the largest decay channel for pi zero after gamma gamma and the Dallas decay. And a, a, a larger than the double Dallas decay that was observed uh, in 1961 and uh, re-measured very well by the KTF collaboration. So um, we don't think it's the case uh, because the, uh, this, uh, this would have probably be noticed by all these uh, scanners that went uh, to look at uh, a million of the pictures of the canon decays the, the, the double Dalits uh, vertex actually encircled. Uh, so um, if I would put my money, I would not put it on the 17 MeV uh, you see the axion, but on the other hand, there is no direct uh, disproof of this model. So it would be nice to close that gap. And uh, uh, in our paper that I advertise, where you can uh, look at uh, various other uh, examples of non-minimal dark sectors where, where you, uh, the K on decays, in particular K long and K plus decays are 
uh, sensitive to, uh, to new physics. And I reached my conclusions. Uh, the the Cairn uh, physics uh, story continues uh, quite impressively with an A62 experiment giving us uh, sort of uh, confidence that uh, uh, new, uh, new, new physics can be investigated both in this uh, short distance contributions and also in uh, uh, li uh, in the form of light, uh, feebly interacting particles, and I give you an example, uh, some examples where where you have uh, new enhanced sensitivity either through the access to the uh, UV scales uh, in the via currents that are not quite conser conserved, or to uh, uh, another example that I was concentrating are multiple leptons generated by the cascades of the of the uh, dark sector particles between themselves uh, that are created in the can decay channels thank you thank you very much maxim that was quite interesting making order in the non-minimal dark sectors that's of course something which we all dread of doing <laughs> okay questions Okay, okay, well, I, I have a question. Um, it's clear that scalars kind of generically introduce, introduce flavor changing neutral currents. Um, what about um, HNL? So, anyway, what about neutrino portal? Have you thought about them dry, dry, doing something in the K physics? Yes, we have. Uh, if you look at this, uh, you still see my slides, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at this at uh, this table, we have included the HNL uh, ah, yes. case. Uh, uh, the difficulty there is that you would uh, probably almost uh, always have a final stage neutrino in the decay mm -hmm. of HNL, and then um, this is uh, going to be uh, well. It's not impossible, but more more difficult uh, story. And so here is the uh, various uh, uh, branchings that uh, the maximum branches uh, that you would uh, be able to achieve. Um, this HNL models are not not minimal. You can see mm -hmm. that you also we combine the dark uh, uh, dark uh, dark uh, uh, U1 prime. Yeah, instant. So the dark U1 prime is something with respect to which HNL is uh, coupled, or right, right absolutely, right, uh, or or uh, HNL decaying to a new gauge uh, uh, particle and the neutrino, for example, and then the, this gauge particle decays to E plus E minus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not necessarily like B minus gauge B minus L. No, it's it's, the, it's something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Any other questions? If not, let's thank Maxim again.